What's going on with y'all? It's your boy Lee, and I'm actually coming back from the boxing gym. I was working with my coach. Today, we actually was coaching the kids, you know, because sometimes he got kids' classes, so I decided to come help him out. Hold up. It was a fire truck. <laughs> I decided to come help him out, you know, Coach Malik doing his thing, you know what I mean? Um, just helping people out and stuff. And after that, he actually showed me how to roll in jujitsu, you know, finally. Now I'm getting into jujitsu. You know, I've been learning boxing for two years. It's been fun. And I'm still gonna keep it up. But jujitsu, man, let me tell you something. That's a whole different animal. You know, he was teaching me, he told me, he taught me the uh the Von Flu choke. Y'all people that know jujitsu, y'all probably know that way more than me. But I'm I'm a I'm a brand spanking new to this stuff. So the Von Flu choke, uh, he taught me the guillotine, how to get out the guillotine, how to do the arm bar. So all that was cool. That was real cool. So um that's basically what we was doing today after we coached the kids. And now I'm headed back to my place right now. Um, hold up, it's never, it's a, now it was an ambulance. Dang, what's going on over here? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I hope they good. You know what I'm saying? It was like three, it was like two fire trucks and an ambulance going that way. So I don't know what's going on that way, but I hope they good. But um, look, getting into the topic, I'm gonna talk to y'all about leaving people hanging. You know, making more time for yourself and not feeling bad about canceling on people. Look, you come first. Without you, there is no we. Without me, there is no we, there is no us. You understand what I'm saying? You come first. And you should not feel bad about canceling on people. You should not feel bad about flaking. You know what I mean? Now, it's one thing if you flaking on obligations, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you flaking on, you know, uh, like, owing somebody some money, that's not cool, you know, or you flaking on, <laughs> I don't know, you flaking on your job or just some, something like that. Somewhere it's like, it's an obligation and it's like, dang, you know what I mean? That's different. But I'm talking about like people, like you, you really doing a favor for somebody that you don't need to, but you like, you flaking or, you know what I'm saying? You just decide, I, I don't want to do this no more. I got my own thing going on or I just want to kick back. You know, I don't even have stuff that I have to do. I just don't want to go no more. You shouldn't feel bad about that at all. You know what I mean? You should always put yourself first. And at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You have to make sure that you put yourself first because guess what? When you when you hanging out with people, when you going out to these bars and when you hanging out in the presence of other people, you are always giving your energy in one way or another. You really think about it. You understand what I'm saying? Even if you're a social person, you know, even if you're someone that you feel like you thrive off of others, but at the same time, we all got to recharge. We all got to recharge and decompress and you need that alone time to be by yourself. So don't ever feel bad for leaving somebody hanging. You know, and the people that respond a certain way, hold up, believe it or not y'all, it's another fire truck. Okay, it's, it's something going on. Somebody, they must have they burned down a whole skyscraper in that direction out of this joint, I don't know. Then again, ain't no skyscrapers in Maryland, but you know, <laughs> anyway, so you know, you need to leave people hanging because, and you shouldn't feel bad about it because, I mean, you come first, yo. You know, and if it's somebody making you feel bad about it, trying to make you feel bad, they smack their teeth, like, come on, like, you, come on, yo. get out, get out the house, come on, like, talking about some get out the house, you need to get out the house. Really, a lot of times people just be saying that because they want you to be in their presence because they don't want to deal with themselves or they don't want to, you know, <clears throat> they don't want to address their situation or whatever. And, you know, that's not your problem. You have your own brain that you have to protect at the end of the day. You know, you got to make sure that you sharp up here because if you're not sharp up here, you understand what I'm saying? If you're not mentally focused or if you're not clairvoyant, you know what I'm saying? If you're not, you know, clear up here, then when you get around other people, it's going to show. And then they over there asking you, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? You know what I mean? Well, I'm hanging out with you. <laughs> well, I could have been by myself, but at the end of the day, you can't blame them for that. It's up to you to have that responsibility to be like, eh, nah, I'm not feeling it right now. I got my own thing going on. I'ma just, I'ma just kick back. You know what I'm saying? If somebody press up with why, it's like, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, cause this is the thing, if people really love you, if they really, they really rock with you and they really understand that, you know, they probably just want to do their own thing. They are going to understand. Most people are going to understand. And the people that don't, it's not your, it's not your problem to give them that understanding. You know what I'm saying? It's not your responsibility. Like, you don't gotta do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could just leave it at, oh, I got I got something going on I gotta take care of or whatever. And it's like, you know, most most reasonable adults 
will understand. But at the end of the day, we still got some people out here that feel as though you owe them some kind of explanation or, you know, you got to... Like an over, like you know, what I'm saying a detailed explanation, or it has to be a good, legitimate reason. It ain't gotta be nothing. If I don't want to hang out with you, I don't want to hang out with you. you know what I'm saying we grown ups out here. You know what I mean? And if you teenagers watching my videos, you may not be a grown up, but at the same time, you know, you being a teenager, you are developing. These are these are really critical years for your mind. You know what I'm saying? Your mind to develop and, and come into if you if you are a young. A young uh, boy or a young teen boy, you know what I'm saying? You about to become a young man, you know what I mean? You growing, you know what I'm saying? The same for you being a girl and you trying to become a, a young woman, you know what I'm saying? Like, you growing and you need that, that mental time to yourself for that clairvoyance and, you know, to make sure that you're sharp because a lot of times people just want you to fill the void that they can't fill themselves. And me personally, I'm not finna be out here filling nobody void. Like, I got my own thing going on. Like, forget that. Y'all can go do that yourself. I ain't doing that. You know, so you got to make sure that you out here and you 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 giving yourself that time for yourself, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, because if you don't, it's going to show. It's going to show mentally. You know what I'm saying? It's going to show physically, you know, and basically, you know, it's going to be your fault. Because it ain't the other, it ain't the people fault that's asking you to hang out. You know what I'm saying? And you know, why does people, why these people keep asking me to hang out or why they keep wanting me to do all this stuff? I feel like there's too many people trying to hang out with me, all this other stuff, X, Y, Z. I mean, you would feel no pressure if you really just put yourself first and was like, hmm, I'm not feeling it today. Not even, you ain't even, I'm telling you, you ain't even got to have nothing going on. I'm talking about just, shoot, sometimes ghost people, ghost them. Ghost them. What they finna be around they phone, waiting for you, waiting on your response, like, oh, this person just not finna answer. And if they are, they have no life. <laughs> That's one thing if it's your significant other, you know what I'm saying? If it's your significant other, it's like, all right, that's a little, that's a different type of situation. But I'm talking about like, you know what I'm saying? People that, you know, you don't owe them no obligation. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't no relationship. Like even people you dating or you talking to or whatever, like young ghost people out here. <laughs> Go Danny Phantom. <laughs> like for real. Go Danny Phantom. Like don't, don't feel as though, you know, you have to, you owe people like these over critical explanations as to why you want to fade off like you know what i'm saying or do your own thing and like i said you don't even have to have nothing you doing you just you could just be just one to chill you could just be one to just go for a walk you know what i'm saying do nothing stare at the wall if i wanted to stare at the wall for 30 minutes because i ain't want to go out with you i'm gonna stare at the wall for 30 minutes <laughs> being serious i ain't even trying i ain't even trying to be funny no funny like but this is the thing let me tell you something if you're the type of person that you feel as though, man, I'm going to miss out if, you know, I, I I don't, if I leave this person hanging, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to miss out. You need to have more stuff that you're doing for yourself. You need to have hobbies. And I don't mean watching Netflix, watching Hulu, watching Crunchyroll, watching all that anime on Crunchyroll. You know what I'm saying? Um, mindlessly scrolling on your phone, these social media apps that they got you in the matrix and you're looking at all this stuff over and over again. You just watch this video about somebody getting their head blown off. Then you went to this video about, you know, two people playing, I, I don't know, playing pranks on people in the street. Then you went to this other video of this ASMR, people cooking. Like, it's just, it's too many different mental stimulations going on at one time. You know what I mean? Now, you may not see somebody getting their head blown off. I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, I, I, I was following certain pages on Instagram. I shouldn't, have been. <laughs> I shouldn't have been. And you know what I'm saying? Like, unfortunately, I seen some stuff I wish I ain't seen. I seen some stuff I wish I ain't seen. Hence why I'm not on Instagram or you know what I'm saying TikTok really anymore. Just be I mean for real for real, I let them joints go. I was off I, I stayed off them joints for like two years straight. Because I really don't need that stuff. I mean, really, I just go back in there to check in with people every now and then and show people what I'm up to. But then I just fade off. I just disappear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because really I am uh more of an introverted person. I am a loner, but at the same time, when I see my people, or when I see people, hey, what's going on? Like, I, I will talk your head off. I will talk your head off if I want to. But most of the time, I listen to people. You know what I'm saying? I listen like 80% of the time and I talk 20 when I'm in the presence of other people. But getting back to the point, you need to make sure that you have some type of, you know, hobbies that you're doing for yourself. So you feel as though, hey, 
if you know what I'm saying, I do want to fade off, I have stuff I can do for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I love to draw. I've always loved to draw ever since I was really young. You know what I'm saying? I was five years old. I've always loved to draw. And I even use these markers called Copic markers. Some of y'all may know about it if you went into the art and in the art world and stuff, but I use these markers called Copic markers and I really can make some stuff pop. I can really bring some stuff to life, which is really cool. And um you know, that's one thing I like to do. I also love to exercise. You know what I mean? I exercise every single day, except Sunday sometimes. Sunday is my rest day, but I exercise. I coach people, you know what I'm saying, um, in boxing. Um, I also love to code outside of my job because I am a software engineer, so I love coding. And I love reading, which I thought I'd never say at this point. I'm, oh, my gosh. If you told me I would end up loving reading, <sighs> like actually buying paper book, paperback books and just like, that's what I'm doing with my glasses on. Psh, man, what? But I say that to say, I got all my different avenues. So if my plans go south for somebody, oh, I got my little own world I can be absolved in. I ain't tripping. You know, and that's my whole thing. That's the whole point. Like, y'all got to have your own world for yourself, but not a passive world, an active world, a world where you are, you're giving your energy to yourself, right? You giving your energy to yourself is not watching your favorite show on Netflix or Hulu right that's you're not creating with that that is passive entertainment right you need to do uh active entertainment you know what i'm saying or just active things that are engaging and video games is not the same either because i love video games but at the same time you know after like a couple hours for, for now it's like after 40 minutes to an hour i'm like all right i'm kind of getting bored of this i'm getting drained from this you know what i'm saying this is not fulfilling what's fulfilling is creating creating or learning you know what i'm saying like on some real or some real stuff like you need to be creating or you need to be learning and you don't need to be learning about something that's boring you know what i'm saying like look if you're a dude and you went to i don't know you into sports medicine you into soccer i'm just thinking of random stuff you know what i'm saying you into trees you into plants like read up on that you know what i'm saying or watch i, I, I was about to say watch videos no read on that or you know what i'm saying go to the store buy, buy you some garden stuff or what, i don't know just go out and go do something for yourself point being if you're a girl you know what I'm saying? You're a woman and you like cosmetics or you went to that type of stuff or, you know, maybe you like roller skating. You know what I'm saying? Go roller skate or go do something for yourself by yourself so that when you, you know, when it's time to hang up the phone on somebody or leave somebody hanging, you got your own avenues you can go to. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times people don't have no hobbies for themselves. That's why they want to be in everybody else's face and just like be in the presence of other people because you feel as though you got nothing going on for you when you go home. And if you're the type of person where it's just like as soon as you fade off from somebody and you go home and you just sit on that bed and you like, huh, you know what I'm saying? And you pick that phone up and you just start scrolling and tapping, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. And that's what's going to mentally drain you. That's what's going to make you feel like, you know, you trapped inside this this matrix of a sort you know what i'm saying and you not you don't have any control over your life get some hobbies you know what i'm saying get some hobbies um if you're religious this is for my religious people whatever religion you are i ain't even gonna get specific on it stay prayed up you know what i'm saying learn more about your religion get more in tune with your relationship with your god or the gods you pray to you know what i'm saying like get more in tune with that i best believe i did that for myself i ain't gonna speak on my religion but basically you know what I'm saying? I'm more in tune with my religion now and I'm more tapped in. You know what I'm saying? And that helps me mentally. So you need to make sure that, you know, you have your own avenue. So when it's time to, you know what I'm saying, like leave people hanging, you ready, you ready, you good. Cause a lot of times, I know, I know how I feel. A lot of times people feel as though, you know, damn, I'm missing out if I don't go, whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I fade off, I just, you're not, you're not missing out. I promise you, you're not missing out. And honestly, you being by yourself, you being by yourself, you're going to have that time to recharge and you're going to have that time to gather yourself mentally. So that guess what? When it's time to go hang out with somebody again, boom. You know what I'm saying? You're the best version of yourself off no corny stuff. Like that's why do we always say that the best version of yourself? Because a lot of times, most of us, <laughs> we not always the best version of ourselves every time we going out with somebody or we hanging out or we in the presence of other people. And that could really be fixed if you take the time for yourself to better yourself, okay? Yes, we get better by being around other people in, in a certain sense, but a lot of the times, you know, most interactions with people outside of your job or people that's actually aiding you in life is fruitless. You know what I'm saying? It's just meaningless banter. It's meaningless things that y'all doing. Y'all ain't really talk about nothing that's meaningful. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just kind of, you know what I'm saying, shooting the shit, so to speak, and just talk about nothing. Y'all just cooling it, right? Cool it by yourself. Know, do something for yourself and don't be afraid to leave people hanging yo because you always gonna come first 
but that's pretty much the whole video. I just kind of want to go off on that. I'm finna go get my Korean fried chicken wings from around the corner because ain't nobody gonna convince me otherwise that there's any fried chicken wings on the planet better than Korean fried chicken wings. I Listen, soy garlic, half and half, thank me later. It's your boy Leek, I'm out.